Hi there, my name's Adam. This is the Out of Collective, and we are talking about the all-new Technica Peak Boot, brand new for 2022-2023. Very cool that Technica is finally getting into the touring market in a full swing, right? They've had the Zero G in the past. This is an extension of that Zero G line. Again, Zero G Peak. The Peak is basically the ultra lightweight touring boot, right? Only people who are buying this are people who are touring. If you are an all mountain skier, do not buy this boot, okay? Look at me. Do not buy this boot. However, if you are touring, this is an excellent option for a lightweight touring boot. This is somebody who is skiing 80% of the days uphill, 20% of the days maybe just figuring out their way down on the resort. Let's talk about some of the features. Obviously I mentioned ultra lightweight, carbon injected on both the peak um, and the pro model, whatever the more expensive one's called. One of the things I like about this the most is how aggressive this T-hike is. It locks into place so well. Like, like this is solid, solid contact. Um, and I think with a lot of touring boots, that lock mechanism is not super solid, right? They spare weight here and in turn, they snap off. They're not super functional and they just don't last a very long time. This is metal. It locks into place extremely well with a metal to metal connection. Um, 6,000 degrees of touring range. Like, look at that. Look at that thing. It's actually nuts. Like you could drive in this, you could run in it. You could, I don't know, race some kid down the street. You can do whatever you want in this thing. It is a very skinny boot. If you have a large foot, may not be the boot for you, okay? Obviously, Dinafit compatible, pin binding compatible, and they actually have the really nice Dinafit certified slidey boy inserts, which you can see that. Basically are little ridges to kind of guide you in, um, and it makes it so much easier to step into your pin binding. Boots without this make it a little more difficult, okay? So when you're in sketchy situations, you get to the top of the hill and you're messing with that, this is a really nice feature to have. Vibram soles on the bottom of this boot, super grippy, very effective, um, and very lightweight. A couple things to mention. Still CAS, um, custom adaptive shell, is a technology Technica made years ago, um, so that the boot is basically a little more adjustable than, say, other boots, right? So you can widen this baby out a little more. You can see all these perforated areas including down near the heel. This is a boot that can probably fit, but again, it is very small and you can see it in profile. It's very skinny. Last couple things, very easy release of the buckles. Got nice little pull tabs. Um, obviously easy to cinch up as well. Just lock that cable in place and it basically does the work for you. Not my favorite mechanism to close buckles up and it is only a two buckle boot. So be aware if you're a heavier person, again, probably not the boot for you. For me, this part is actually huge because I have a high end step. This is super, super helpful. It's soft um, and it doesn't give you that like when your feet swell, you know, that like tingly, like numbing feeling. This eliminates a lot of that um, again. Huge fan, new Technica Peak boot. Get out and try one on. Again, not for everybody, but for the people that it is for, this is a huge, huge offering from Technica for 22, 23. Um, so go check it out on their website, check it out at your local dealer, and uh, subscribe to this page, and maybe we'll keep talking about gear. Just bundying this up real quick. I'm getting hot. I don't care where they're made. I don't care if they're made in my so even if you have a bigger foot, foot, foot um, 